So this fluffy plant in front of me, plant gang, is Amsonia Tabernay, Montana. Now this one that I'm standing in front of received a cutback after it bloomed. It bloomed around May, and then immediately after the blooms, we did a cutback on this plant. And one of the main reasons that I, I did a cutback on this plant is because the seeds had formed, and this plant for me has a tendency to seed itself around, and so I'll often give it a cutback right after the flowers have completely faded and the seeds start to form. And here you go, two months later, it's fully uh, come back. Amsonia in general is a plant that's known for, for being a herbaceous perennial that has fairly good fall color. Amsonia Tabernay Montana is not the one with the best fall color of all Amsonias, but it's not too bad. It's kind of a buttery yellow, maybe a dirty yellow in some cases. Uh, there are smaller versions of Amsonia Tabernay Montana that are great for the landscape. Uh, but this is a great texture plant, a great texture perennial. Nice blue spring blooms uh, that can be quite nice in the landscape. Mm -hmm. Amsonia Tabernay Montana, often called Blue Star Amsonia. Looking at the leaves, they're alternate lanceolate, turn yellow in the fall. This plant, cultivar dependent, there's one called Blue Ice that just gets about a foot and a half tall. Uh, but most of them are in the three, three and a half foot tall range, spreading out to about three foot wide. This Amsonia is hardy from zones three through nine. The flowers are blue tubular flowers that have a little star-shaped top to them uh, that are quite nice in the spring. No serious disease or insect problems. Uh, this is a nice plant. Here's a landscape tip. Beautiful in spring and fall, can handle sun or shade, but tends to flop more in the shade. 